Welcome back and this is about chain comparison operators. In this session uh, we'll come across some, a very interesting feature of Python and we explore the ability of Python to chain comparison operators to perform a sort of a complex test. So you can use these chain comparison operators as a shorthand for a large, uh, larger Boolean expression. And why are we focusing so much on Boolean is also because that we will be using them as critical elements, especially during our object-oriented programming and while creating some functions, we need to know uh, how to sort of negate certain things, how to falsify something, and how to handle something that's true, and so on. So it's very important we're laying a, a great foundation of uh, being able to understand uh, Python's uh, data structures and certain privileges that, or certain features that we can use. Now, we'll learn about uh, chain comparison operators, of course, but I'll also introduce you to two other very important statements in Python, which is AND and OR, which are also uh, evolved in Python 3 a little bit more than what it was in the previous version. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to switch over uh, to my screen here, and I'm going to start with uh, some hands-on exercises. Great. So let's say uh, I'm going to chain a comparison. What do we mean by changed comparison operators? Is there is more than two elements that are being compared, or more than two operands that we are comparing? Um, so in this case, we are looking to see is one lesser than two, or two is lesser than three. And if all the statements are true, it will return a true. And the way I would read it is that if one was less than three, less than two, and if two was less than three. So we could have written this using a AND statement, which would give us a better uh, return of uh, answer. And then I would see it this way. So just uh, similar to that. So as you may know from uh, mathematic logic that, or any Boolean logic that you may have studied in high school, that AND is used to make sure the two checks have to be true in order to have the outcome as true. Let's see another example. So I'm going to say uh, one is less than three, all right, and three is greater than two. This also will return a true. And I could rewrite this uh, with and as one is less than three, and three is less than two. So in, when you use and, both the conditions have to be true, only then it would return true. So I switch this, I make both them, both of them as true, it returns a true. So it's important to note that Python is checking both instances when we use the AND operation. What if I want to use only one of the operations and I want to return true only if one of them are true? And let me introduce you to the OR uh, operand. If one is equal to two or two is less than three, then return a true. So it will return a true because one of the statements is true. And it, it, this is clearly because of the OR operator. And we need one OR or the other two to be true. So let's see another example and then we can drive this home. Um, if one is equal to one or 100 is equal to one. So note I cannot use a single equals uh, operator because that way that means a single equal sign is a assignment operator and not a comparison operator. So this is a single equal sign is used to assign a value to a variable. A double equal sign is used to compare two objects or two operands. Now, uh, let's say if what this will return would be true. Right, so go ahead and um, I would take you to a simple quiz and so we can check your understanding.